conversation. They are. No, granted. And people think you're intelligent when you mm-hmm. know the wingspan of a roach in, in South America. Well, do you know why, why don't spiders get caught in their own webs? No, I don't. That's not one of the ones okay. I know. But I'm going to. <laughs> All right. But if you listen to this show, you'll you find will. out. I'll, I'll know afterwards. All right. But what I wanted to mention is that we've had a lot of days where uh, Valentine's Day and, and St. Patrick's Day where we've uh, covered lots of useful information. But we went through all of February, and I don't think we had one question on black history. So you got one for us? Yes, I do, actually. Go ahead. Too, if you want them. Go ahead. Uh, first one is, who was the first major league African-American coach in the major league baseball? Who, who was the first uh, African-American, African-American manager? Uh, no, he said it was coach. Okay, uh, Frank, Frank, Frank Robinson. Frank Robinson, wasn't it? What I have down is 1962 with the Cubs, John Jordan Buck O'Neill. He was a, oh, he was probably an assistant coach. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know. That, yeah, he was yeah, probably Frank, an assistant. Frank Robertson was the first, first head black, coach. Uh, our yeah, first, well, in, in, in Major League Baseball, they call them managers. Right. But yeah. Okay. Hey, Maria, mm-hmm. thank you, and thanks for listening to AFR. You have a great weekend. Thank you, Marie. Uh, Marie calls a little uh, uh, black trivia in March. And not trivia. What do you call it? Black, Black history. History, history. Black history. Which is part of the trivia show here. And all races are free to call. Are welcome. Are welcome here. That's on, right. On, uh, trivia. Even though it's just three three old uh, uh, plus 50 we, plus white guys. Yeah. <laughs> We're very multicultural right. here. Uh, I'm wearing green. Uh, I'm I'm gray. You, my favorite color. Gray. Well, so, you know, uh, Ed is uh, Italian. I mean, with... Uh, Italian. He's a half, he, half Greek, Italian, half, half Italian. Greek, and then I'm an Appalachian American. I'm going to start <laughs> writing that down on forms and things. See, see how far that gets me. Yeah. Trivia Friday it is. We continue on here, ladies and gentlemen, before we get in trouble. Tom in Columbus, Ohio. Tom, how you doing, my friend? Pretty good. How about you? All right, brother. You want to ask or answer or both? Well, I'm going to give you a chance to start at the bottom and hopefully go up from there. But I'm going to ask one, and I'm going to answer one. All right, well, go ahead with your uh, answer. Which one? All right, don't put too much theological thought into this, but you know why Jesus told Peter to put his sword up after smoting, or smiting Malchus in the ear? Oh, are you going to ask first? And the question yes, is, why, right. why, why, well, the question is what? Why did Jesus tell Peter to put the sword away after smiting uh, Malchus in the ear? I believe he said those who live by the sword will die by the sword. I, could to, I was thinking it was because in earlier in the Bible it says keep diligent until he comes and stay busy. And yeah. Peter wanted to take the rest of the year off. Year off? Take the oh, rest, of the, the rest of the year off. Yeah. Year off. Okay, nice, Tom. Tom. That's, yeah, that's Tom. corny even for yeah, us, brother. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> A lot of corn in at the bottom and trying to work. A lot of corn up. in Ohio, <laughs> but not where you live That's in Columbus. <laughs> that hey, anyway, that, not a bad try yeah, though, Tom. Yeah, you want to answer one? I do. I think I know the coin. Oh, oh here's the, here's the question. There is only one U.S. coin where the person faces right instead of left. Which coin? Uh, the ones I'm looking at are pennies. 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 Oh, yeah. Exactly right. Honest Abe looking uh, the wrong way. You know they're talking about doing away with pennies. I've, I've heard that. Have you heard about, they, heard about that? They sort of <clears throat> they bring that up. It costs more than a penny to make a penny. Yes. Right. yes. Yeah, of course, that's the federal government, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> really. <laughs> that's the whole story of our federal government, quite frankly. Uh, you know, so we made this nothing, penny for you. It nothing. costs four cents to make it. <laughs> hey, Tom, before you go uh, with that joke that you gave us, you know why the Indians were here first? I don't. Because they had reservations? <laughs> I, I'll argue that wow. after wow. that joke of yours. All right. I think Tom's was funnier. All right, Tom. Thanks for calling, buddy. Appreciate hearing from you. Trivia Friday it is on American Family Radio. I'm Tim Wildman with uh, Ed Vitagliano and Professor J.J. Jasper (laughs) taking your phone calls with your questions for us and your answers to our questions. Quickly repeat your questions, Mr. Uh, Vitagliano. Okay, what is the lowest point in North America? Now, that's not covered by water. Uh, question number two, for rabbits, what is the act of giving birth called? Mm, and number three, during the first Bugs Bunny cartoon, what character tried to kill him? Tried which kill Bugs Bunny. which state has the most national parks? Mm-hmm. Which state has the most national parks? Mm-hmm. 
And then when the Pez Mint Dispenser was first introduced, it was meant to replace what bad habit? If I can add one, which ocean is the smallest and most shallow? Which ocean is the smallest and most shallow? All right. Why do spiders get caught in their own? Why don't spiders get caught in their own webs? Why don't spiders get caught in their own webs? That's the question here. Number two is, which of these is the most poisonous? We have a multiple choice. Is it the poison dart frog? Is it a viper or a tarantula? And finally, continuing in the small animal world, why do mice gnaw constantly? Why do mice gnaw constantly? You know, that's just a... Keeps you up at night. That they question. have it. Yes, it does. <laughs> yeah. Especially when you hear them in your closet. <laughs> That's right. Huh? Or in your attic. Uh, all right. You're wondering what will they gnaw through, <laughs> which will lead to other problems in my home. All right. Continuing on here, <laughs> Trivia Friday. Our phone number is 888. That's 888-589-8840. 888-589-8840. If you've gotten in on the program in the last four weeks, please wait till next week to call us. Okay. Eric in Wilmer. Alabama is up next. Hi, Eric. Hi. How you doing, my friend? I'm good, sir. All righty then. You want to ask or answer or both? I'd like to do both, sir. And what is your, uh, which one do you want to answer? The one about the animal that's most poisonous. Yeah, which of, which of these uh, three choices is the most poisonous? A poison dart frog, number two, a viper, or number three, a tarantula. Okay, I'm gonna guess on this the poison dart frog. It yes, it is wow. a wow. Uh, Way to go, the, it, Eric. Now, why did you think that, Eric? Well, I've read in a lot of books that uh, a poison dart frog has a lot of poison in it, and uh, yeah. It's enough to kind of kill a human sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The information I have here is a poison dart frog is the most poisonous animal in the world. Wow. Um, they are bright colored to warn predators of their poison. So you get a fair warning, you know, if you're out there roaming around where a uh, poison dart frog is. But if yeah. uh, my guess is if you've seen the bright color, it's too late for you. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You've yeah. got an instant <laughs> flash of yellow, yeah, it's, and, and it, you're at the your, your light the flashes gates. before your face. <laughs> so if your this uh, trivia Friday thing doesn't work out for you, Mutual of Omaha <laughs> will want you <laughs> leading yeah. these tours. Yeah, uh, but anyway, the uh, the poison dart frog. I don't know where they're you know where they are. South in, America? Are they South yeah. America? Okay, all right. Anyway, very good answer, Eric. I'm impressed with your science knowledge there. What's your question for us? Uh. This is a historical question. Historical uh, question. Okay, Rick, go ahead. Uh, uh, hold on, please. i got to remember. Uh, oh, yeah. How much which southern states did his President Abraham Lincoln win in the 1860 election? Well, you're going to have to repeat that again. What now? How much southern states did his President Abraham Lincoln win in the, the 1860 election? Okay, that's How many southern pre, states? That's pre-civil. That's pre. That's right before the Civil War. That, I'll mm. I'll I'll guess one. I don't know. What do you guys? I'm going to say zero. I'm going to guess West Virginia. Eric, what about it? What's the correct correct answer? Zero. 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 Thank you. I will yep. clap for myself. <laughs> here. Uh, I just know that you know he, he wasn't. He wasn't exactly. I don't even uh, know if West did West Virginia even exist at I, that time. I, that's a good question. Was West Virginia and Virginia are they Civil War? Uh, they might have split during the Civil, Civil War. War. I, don't I don't know. That's good, but uh, yeah, uh, uh, Mr. Lincoln was not popular uh, south of the Mason Dixon line. Yeah, Eric, th th thanks, my friend. Good history question. Yes, we've had Abraham Lincoln brought up twice here already yes. in the first half hour. Can't go wrong with that. Abraham Lincoln, uh, and he was. Uh, Born in a uh, log cabin in Kentucky. In Kentucky. Uh, day, day, uh, Illinois, they say land of Lincoln, and people wrongly think he was born in Illinois, but he was born in Kentucky. Born in Kentucky. Uh, they grew up have, in Illinois. I've seen the that. signs to his birthplace, I believe, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Somewhere Pro in Kentucky. Probably, yeah, in the, in the Springfield. No, wait, let's see. Springfield. Yeah, I should know that. He lived that. in Springfield, Illinois. Springfield, Illinois, and, and uh, was in politics there, but he was born in a log cabin in Kentucky. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. You, you're listening. I'm learning things here. On you didn't see? know that about no. Abe Lincoln. I didn't know he was born in Kentucky. Honest Abe, 
Listening to Trivia Friday on American Family Radio, Tim with Ed and JJ continuing on across the great U.S. of A. <laughs> David is in Albany, Georgia, and he's up next. Hi, David. Hey there. How you doing, Brother David? Uh, yeah, I, I'd like to ask and answer. All right. Uh, you're our kind of guy here. Which <laughs> one do you want to answer? Um, well, I know a couple of them, but I'm going to go with the mouse question. All right. The question is this. Why... Do mice gnaw constantly? The reason mice gnaw constantly is because their teeth continually grow throughout their entire life. You are correct, That's sir. Right. Hey, way you to go, correct, David. Sir. It's the only so, way to keep their teeth from growing to abnormal lengths. So they, um, their teeth are always growing. So they need to hard, the, the, they need to gnaw on the hard things to wear them down. I got to ask you one other question related to this. Um, brother David, and that is, how do you spell gnaw? G N A W. Yes, right. sir. Yes, sir. Wow, there you that go. Was a winner. That, that was a David. bonus. Bo- bonus, <laughs> bonus points, right David, there. David, unlike Honey Boo Boo, is doing <laughs> Georgia proud. <laughs> well, you know what I'm talking about, David? For the record, not everybody in Georgia is, is like Honey Boo Boo. Hey, brother. <laughs> let me tell you. What, let me tell you a little story about that real quick. For those who don't know what we're talking about, there's a show on TV, and it features this family, and they have a lot of challenges. And okay. the daughter's name is Diplomatic. Honey they, 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 honey they, they are rednecks with, with all capital letters. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, the funny thing is, my wife, uh, we were on a trip and uh, we were in a hotel and she came across this show called Honey. The, the show was a Honey Boo Boo show. And uh, it's kind of like a train wreck. You know what I'm saying? It's hard you, to look you, away. You don't want to look, but you're going, my word, people really live like this? So I, I said, after about watching about 10 minutes, David, I said to my wife, I said, I said, please don't let them be from Mississippi. <laughs> and and, and they, then they said, well, we're from Georgia. And I said, all right, man, thank you. So anyway, David, got to pick on you there a little bit. But, no, that, that's okay. Well, they are not a true representation of Georgia. Well, I understand. I'll tell you what, since you're from Albany, those folks from Sherwood Baptist certainly are a true representation of what you have there in that great state. Absolutely. Absolutely. They, you, they are a great organization. Well, I'm, um, in, I'm impressed you know how to spell all because not everybody does uh g-n-a-w words have always been my thing i love words david um, do you have a uh do you have a question for us you said i do and i've been trying for over a month to get on so i can ask it all right well, we're ready my friend what is the distance of measurement represented by the cubit what is the what is the what is the question again the, how long is a cubit basically like, what oh, were wow. they measuring it, when they measured with a cubit? Well, you don't Eight, measure 18, with... 18 inches. And it's, I think, generally was the, uh, it the length, by width by the length from the tip of your finger <clears throat> to your elbow. Absolutely correct. All right. Wow. Wow. All right. That's our Ed team. That's our comes team through player. To the team. Your finger to your elbow. That's so, so, it so, so it's 18 inches? Roughly. Yeah. Roughly. But it's from your fingertip mm. to your elbow. Yeah. yeah. The That's how they used to measure things in that way, didn't they? I mean, remember the uh, the story about the hor- horses? Yeah, hand. Hand. How many hands d- is a horse? Yeah. They still use that today, and that was just standing in your hand I don't hand know why you just there. didn't go with an arm, though, for that one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you measure hands. a horse by your hand when you can go ahead with your arm? In England, they don't say how many pounds do you weigh. They say how many stones. stones. I weigh yes. this many stones, and they use pounds to pay for things. So that would yeah. get a little confusing. Yeah. Yeah. David, good question. Thanks, David. All right, David, thanks for calling, buddy. Appreciate hearing from you. It's Trivia Friday on American Family Radio. Our phone number is 888-589-8840. If you've gotten on the show the last four weeks, I mean on the air, please don't call. Wait till next week, and then you can call.